This is how you buff and shape your dip powder manicure using only a hand file to get a smooth and natural finish. Now you can of course do this with an e-file, but this tutorial is really helpful if you don't yet have an e-file or maybe you're just not comfortable using one yet. So this process starts after you've applied your dip powder and your activator and you're all ready to buff. Now if you'd like to see my full step-by-step -step dip powder application tutorial, I've shared it in the caption for you. Now I do recommend grabbing a curved file just like this one. It's really easy to use and it'll help avoid tearing the skin around your nails. So to start, go around the cuticle line and start blending the dip into your natural nail. This part is super important to ensure you don't have any rough edges that can snag on your hair. Next, you can begin working on the sidewalls. I'm just gently filing down towards the free edge of my nail on both sides. Tapering your sidewalls will give your nails a much more natural curved look and it'll get rid of any bulk that'll make them look kind of bubbly. Once you're done your sidewalls, grab your file and gently go down the center of the nail to remove any remaining lumps. Once I'm all done with the file, I like to finish everything off by buffing it really smooth with these orange buffer blocks. They're also really nice to run along the cuticle line to finish it off because they're really cushy and gentle. Now, to know when you're done buffing, you can actually see on your nail if you've removed all of the lumps. Using this nail as an example, you can actually see the dusty areas surrounded by a few specks that haven't yet been touched by the file. This means the nail isn't quite smooth and we need to keep going. Now, once that nail has a fully dusty appearance, we know we've got a nice smooth surface that's ready for top coat. But before we do that, you want to clean up the shape. I always do all of my major shaping prior to applying the dip powder, so all I'm doing here is gently running the file along the free edge to clean up any little lumps and bumps and get a nice sharp finish. Once you're all done, you can brush or rinse the dust away, apply your second coat of activator, and then finish it off with a shiny top coat. And that's how to buff your nail smooth during your dip powder manicure. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any DIY nail tutorials or nail inspo.